Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation, and in today's episode, we are going over the new. Uh, well, it's not exactly new, but we're going over the Valentine's uh, Day showcase that they currently have within the game banner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just a quick reminder: I know that I'm a bit late on this video. Uh, just reminding you guys that I do I, I can only make these videos when I have time whenever I'm not working uh, so and this is just one of those one of those type of days okay so I'm making the video now so hopefully it's in time for you to still be able to hear my opinion about uh, these things and such um, I still have not yet made the video uh, discussing who I believe are the best healers in the game which is relevant towards today's video uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I can knock it out later today. Just get it out of the way. We'll, we'll see. Uh, by the very least, let's quickly go over uh, the showcase itself. I'll make a different video talking about the actual Valentine's Day event uh, alone because there are some things I do want to point out in terms of the Valentine's Day event that I personally believe are worth doing. Uh, but I'll leave that for a different video. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and just check out the actual banner itself. So, right now, that's the Dragon Showcase. I'll be doing a different video for that, too. Uh, okay, so right here, we have the Valentine's show. Okay, there are I basically didn't... two five-star units from this showcase that are worth noting. One of them being a return. Both of them, both of them are just returns, by the way. There's, there's nothing new about these units, okay? Um, they're just returns. So, we right now... Uh, the five-star unit is Valentine's Hildegarde, as well as Prometheus as the dragon unit. Okay, uh, we'll just go ahead and go to the info. I'll quickly uh, go through what they do real quick. So, Valentine's Hildegarde is a fire five-star uh, staff user unit. Okay, her first activated ability is Blooming Love. Restores HP to all allies, increases the entire team's energy levels by one stage, and continues healing over the next 15 seconds. And then it does it explains the whole five energy level stuff. Okay, shenanigans. Second ability, Holy Protection. Grants all teammates a one use shield that nullifies damage less than 30% of the user's maximum HP, and increases their energy levels by two stages. Okay, and then it explains the whole energy levels stuff. Okay. Um, all in all, as a just a TLDR. Basically, Valentine's Hildegarde is basically just a amped up version of the normal uh, of the normal Hildegarde starter unit that you start off with in the game. Okay. Uh, really good. The fact that it has the energy levels combined with the uh, defense uh shield okay from holy protection as well as the healing and continued healing over time from blooming love is honestly a really good it, it's a pretty decent unit it's not the best healer in the game though i might add um well yeah i'll cover that in a different way but it's not the best healer in the game it's really good just not the best um at least in terms of abilities and such okay co-ability recover potency at 20 percent really good uh, the passive ability, Striking Strength debil debil Debilitator, <laughs> that's a mouthful, 2. Grants the user strike force, the user's force strikes a 7% chance to reduce enemy strength by 3% for 10 seconds. That's a really decent passive. Uh, there aren't very many abilities that reduce strength, uh, for, especially for a healer. That's, like, all together, that's honestly pretty, pretty decent. As a 100% stun resistant. Kind of standard as well as it has a hundred percent skill prep which you don't see on many units either so you'll automatically already have access to healing abilities from the very get-go um can be pretty decent especially if you plan to use her for maybe like uh the, the high dragon uh high worm events and such so being able to automatically heal if your team just gets hit automatically and like low hp uh, that could be worth using. Uh, not necessary, if you, uh, especially if you do uh, some of the Valentine's events. There's a, a, there is a free worm print that you can obtain from doing the Valentine's event that can give you a 100%... I think it's either a 100% skill prep or, or uh, maxed out energy. One of, the, 
or both. I want to say there is a 100% skill prep. I might be I might be confused about that. Uh, but altogether, Valentine's Hildegarder is a pretty decent unit, but not the best healer in the game. Okay, still really good. So if you happen to get her, then by all means keep her, but just not the best. Okay. Uh, in terms of the dragon, Prometheus is a five-star fire dragon. Uh, to be honest, he's one of my personal favorites uh, among the of, among the five-star fire dragons in the game. In terms of raw, like DPS output, though, he's not the best, but he is one of the best utility. Uh, so he is worth having, you know, as a fire dragon. Uh, let's quickly go over his abilities. Activated ability does flame damage to the target and nearby enemy, so that's good. It has both a single target and an AoE uh, uh, radius at the same time. Always like those type of attacks, as well as the passive ability. And this is where the main utility comes from, is if the user is attuned to a flame, increases the strength by 50% and adds 15% to wind resistance. Keep in mind, though, that, the 50%, uh, that, that this is only... Take into account if your dragon is uh, fully unbound, okay? Right now, if you're, uh, if you happen to get Prometheus and it has absolutely no unbound slots at all whatsoever, so it's just base, uh, it does start off at 35%. I know that because I have Prometheus myself. I actually got a second copy by, by coincidence. Uh, but he, do, he does have one of the best utilities. There aren't too many dragons in the game that offer huge amounts of strength buffs on top of, uh, like, what's it called? Attribute, on top of attribute resistance. Um, and Prometheus is one of those. Prometheus, as far as I'm aware, is a limited time event dragon. So if you're able to obtain him, now is the time to obtain him. Out of the two, I would much rather have Prometheus over Valentine's Hildegarde just because of the fact that A, there are better uh, healers in the game that are not limited time that you can get from normal pools uh, that you can use instead of Valentine's Hildegarde so you don't have to worry about her nearly as much. Uh, on top of the fact that there's not really very many other dragons like Prometheus. So trying to get him now, if you choose to chase one, now is the time to do so. Uh, the other units aren't really worth mentioning too much. I'll just quickly go over them though. Valentine's Isolith, Polar Expansion, deals flame damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts burn. I always like mentioning ones that inflict status ailments because they can always be somewhat relevant. Uh, but inflicts burn. Piercing Rose deals flame damage to enemies in the line and reduces their defense by 10%. Uh, Kobody, skill haste plus 15%. I always like skill haste. Any type of haste ability, I always enjoy. Uh, passive abilities, 35 hits equals energy level up. Basically, if you do 35 hit combo, you get an energy level up. Okay, 100% stun resistant and does increased damage uh, to enemies in a break state by 20%. Overall, a pretty distant four star unit. Uh, on its own doesn't really synergize too much with other units, but on its own it's a pretty pretty good unit Valentine's Orion Okay Spinning brulee deals flame damage to its surrounding enemies and inflicts burn sweet protection increases the entire team's defense by 50% for 15 seconds Both of these are honestly pretty standard abilities. There's nothing too special about them dragon haste plus 50% standard abilities passive abilities strength double buff plus 8% kind of low but kind of standard too Curse resistance uh, of 50% standard. Uh, not the greatest, of course, too. Especially with all the units that have 100% resistance. It's kind of... It's suboptimal. Um, curse resistance plus 25%, so it's an additional 25%. So altogether, you have 75% curse resistance, which isn't too bad for a 4-star unit. Um, chances are you probably, wanna, you probably wouldn't want to use Orion, though. Regardless, just because the rest of his kit is just so standard uh there's nothing that really jumps out about it and you probably wouldn't want to use a fire unit against a shadow stage in the first place to probably warrant wanting to take advantage of the curse resistance 
Unless that's just unless that just happens to be all you have, then sure, by all means, go for it. Um, yeah, altogether, there's nothing really too much to say about those about those two units. Okay, uh, Valentine's Ezalit is pretty decent as a four star unit, probably slightly above average, but pretty decent. Um, but amongst all of these, it's Prometheus. It's Prometheus is the primary unit that you were trying to tank. In terms of the banner itself, though, because of the fact there's nothing, most of the banner, most of the actual featured units that come in the showcase aren't really that special to go chasing afterwards, even though Prometheus, it, Prometheus is the only one actually worth going for because of what is being featured in the showcase. I would probably advise maybe not even chasing for this, this, show, uh, this banner in the first place. I would probably warrant just just saving your currency as of right now um because i believe I that dragalia lost like first anniversary is coming up sometime fairly soon within these next few months as well don't know the exact date but i believe I it is something in these next few months and being that it is going to be the first anniversary i'm willing to and how well that the dragalia lost team does to uh treat their their player base I'm willing to bet that the first anniversary of Dragalia Lost event is going to be absolutely fantastic, okay? And they're, you know, they're probably going to pump out some sort of busted unit uh, for the first anniversary. For all I know, it could be a Gala, another Gala unit as well. Uh, but I would probably be, I would just, for now, I would just skip over, just skip over the Valentine's event, okay? Unless you really need some of these units. Uh, or you don't really have any, like basically if you're a new player, that would be the only excuse to really go for this. But if you're, if you've already been playing the game for a while, you already have a decent amount of units I and stuff. I would probably skip over this, like this showcase you. for now. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. I just want to give my thoughts about the new Valentine's showcase, uh, just because of the fact that it is a returning showcase. There's nothing actually new about it as far as I'm aware anyways. So, without further ado, I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when to upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KHX Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys.